welcome once again for today's, to today's tutorials. This is Prof. Noah's channel and it's college education tutorials and today we are going to tackle integration involving trig functions, right? Integration involving trig functions. These are type of questions that comes and students will be finding like they find themselves wanting in doing such integration. And today we are going to delve deeper on in how you are able to actually solve such questions or such integrations involving trig functions so that whenever they combine it with any other uh, function like maybe sine power 6 multiplied by x or sine x cos x and other stuff to be able to do them. So let's um, proceed. So basically this tutorial we will look at quite a few number of integrals that will involve trig functions and some of the techniques that we can use to help evaluate them, right? So for that matter, if you look at how to integrate the variety of product of um, trigonometric functions, you'll be able to use that basic idea in solving a lot of questions, either difficult or simple. So let's start here. For trigonometric functions, or integral of trigonometric functions, uh, like trigonometric integrals, they are very important part of integration techniques, which we normally call trigonometric substitution. So before you'll be able to do trigonometric substitution, you should be able to understand how to integrate trigonometric functions, right? And then that trigonometric substitution, it's featured in trigonometric substitution that we will be doing in my next or my some of my tutorial that I'll be doing in any other time. So you have to expect for it for trigonometric substitution. So this technique also allow us to allow us to convert like most of times algebraic expressions that we may not be able to integrate into expressions involving trigonometric functions. So what I mean is that when you are able to understand integration of trigonometric functions or trigonometric substitution, you will be able to convert, sometimes they will give you a complex algebraic um, functions, right? And it will be very difficult for you to integrate. So for that matter, when you know how to integrate trigonometric, trigonometric functions or how to do trigonometric substitution, that then will not be difficult. It's just a matter of knowing how to substitute the variables in terms of trigonometric um, ratios or functions and you will be good to go. So that's one important of understanding trigonometric substitution or how to integrate uh, trigonometric functions. So in this tutorial So this type of integral can also appear frequently when we study maybe or in your other classes like um, multivariable calculus and other stuff. You'll be meeting something like polar coordinates, cylindrical and spherical coordinate systems as well. So understanding such um, two can help you or, or help you like understand how you go about such polar, cylindrical, and spherical coordinate, which is one of the integral parts in multivariable calculus. That's all the way, that's for the engineering students in our mix, but for business business students or any other students who want to learn how to use integration, trigonometric integration, I think you can just understand the concept and then work your way forward and you'll be good to go. So let's start here. Integrating product and powers of sines and cosine. One of the basic trigonometric ratios that you are supposed to know should be the sine, the cos, and then the tan. These are the three basic trigonometric ratios over there. And a key idea behind the strategy that we use to integrate combination of product powers of um, sine and 
cosine we involve rewriting this expression as sums and differences of integral of the form um, for example integral of sine j of x cos x or maybe integral of um, cos power n of x sine x dx over here is also dx so after rewriting this integral we'll be able to evaluate them using our u substitution so you we'll do more example for you to see but let me finish this one as i said earlier on the basic trigonometric integrals that you are supposed or it's supposed to be on your fingertip is the sine the cos and the tan and by now i'm guessing that you are supposed to know how to differentiate sine cos and tan and how to also integrate them these are some common things that should be on your fingertips so knowing how to do them you apply them over here to know how you go about it and one of the things that can also help you to actually be very good in this integration involving trig function is the compound angles those who dig trigonometric identities right the compound angles the compound angle is very essential tools for you to understand the, uh, how to integrate um, trigonometric functions so for example cos a plus b has it trigonometric identity sine a plus b also has a trigonometric identity cos a minus b also has a trigonometric identity but sometimes we are interested in something like cos a plus a which is equal to cos 2a it also has a trigonometric identity and we are also aware that sine square a plus cos square a will give us one and i'm hoping that i'll get the time to do a full tutorial on trigonometric identity so that you will be able to actually understand certain things well because most of the things that you are doing in your university education most of them you are going to encounter trick functions inside and trust me if you understand such um, subtopics very well you are not going to find yourself wanting so now as i said there are so many ways that you can integrate trick functions right and some of them that we are going to look at will be integrating um integrating product of course and then sign right we also will be in integrating maybe the integrating product of course and sign where maybe the power of the sign is an odd number and also look at um how to integrate an even powers of sign as well you will do that and i'll give you the strategies in how or strategy or techniques of how you can integrate product and powers of sine and cosine yeah, i'll give you some strategies to use and also we will look at integrating um, the product of sine and cosine where maybe um, the, the, the power of sine is an odd, odd number. And then we also look at integrating the product of sine and cosine where k and j are even numbers. Now, if I say k and j are even numbers, I mean that the power of cos, uh, the cos and then the sine they are all even numbers and you look at that so we just look forward to see it and let's see um after that i think we will look at some couple of examples and then we will delve a little bit into um some trigonometric identities that are very important for us and we must or we should know in order to help us understand whatever we'll be doing very well so stay tuned